Ooh. Right. Good morning, cruise fans. Oh. Slept better last night. And hang on this now. Right. Welcome to today's day. What is it? Thursday. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Bill Bauer. Spain. This is today's view. What's that? Let's open the door and have a look. Hmm. That's not bad actually. They're both asleep still. But here we are. Well, chairs haven't moved all night, so that's a good sign. So we have been here before. Where's the, uh, so where we were last time. If the same place, it's somewhere different. Can't remember. So anyway, what's the crack today? Uh, oh, we're having breakfast, aren't we? Yeah. I get ready for that. So we're gonna have breakfast. Unfortunately, it won't be in the sun. Just a bit of a blow, but we'll put our jumpers on and we'll enjoy it. That means it well, it means hopefully this afternoon the sun will be around here. Though we're not sailing away till half seven. Show you my beautiful face. Ah, there we go. Business is business as usual. So today, I'm not sure what to do if we <coughs> transfer to Bill Bower is um they say 25, 35 minutes. It's 45, 50 minutes when the traffic's rubbish. There's a football match thing on today. I don't know if they tell you these things to kind of put you off from going sometimes. So it's, it can take a while. I remember last time I was looking back on the videos of people doing it and they said it took a while. So I would like to get off and show you it. I probably won't get off. Well, you know, if you're watching it straight through the door, I'll tell you right from today's start, there's a good chance I'm not going to be driving, sitting even, 45 minutes just for these two to walk around for an hour. So that'd be like 45, hour and a half, two and a half hours, three hours nearly, just for not much. So if you're bothered about that, I will say skip on to the next episode and we'll hopefully do more in that particular port. But what I will do for you guys is I'll be getting off as usual locally. I'll find out if there's Wi-Fi in case you need to use Wi-Fi. I'll find out if there's anything you can do nearby without having to take the bus. The bus is free. That's pretty good. The bus is free. It's handy. It's, it's really handy. It's great service for free of charge. Sometimes it can be a bit long-winded. I would say that. Especially if you have kids. Sorry, I thought I saw a dolphin or something in, this, in there, but it just looks like a lot of rubbish. <laughs> um, so they can be handy. Obviously, we've got kids. They can be a bit long-winded, but we're going to find out today. I'll get all the information. I'll give you everything you need to know. I will see what the crack is locally. Um, it's 800 metres to get to the bus and 800 metres back. So that's like close to a mile to get to the said transfer but we'll get off and we'll have a look at the transfers and we'll see what the crack is there and it gives you a heads up would I recommend going there of course would yeah if you're like a young couple or not even a young couple but somebody who wants to like get out and do stuff definitely that's why you come to these places people want to stay on board as well so I get it this is the whole thing my cruising it's like everybody wants to do something and everyone, everyone does the same thing so it's wonderful and that's really really good and that's why I love cruising and that's why I like making this channel it's for everybody to get like an honest real response of what's going on so let's have a look at this breakfast when it arrives so here we go day four full power so we just had a knock at the door and look what's arrived our first ever breakfast room service Ever, 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 ever on any cruise line whatsoever. Ever, ever before. Yeah, ever, ever before. So we're going to get it all out, put it on the table and see what Brenda George ordered last night. See how we get on. So this is what he ordered. He's ordered three yogurts, some fruit, a breakfast bagel, this stuff, which is like butter, Danish. a Danish, one jam, one's honey, I don't know what that, that is, what's that? Damn. Some yogurts, some cereal, some teas, and one was beer coffee. 
Where's the milk for the cereal? So I ordered a coffee. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna tuck in, kind of. Hold up, what do I get out of all this? Um, maybe this little cake here. I think what a pig under George is gonna eat every single thing else. I give a well, banana I, as well. well okay. It's the only thing you're gonna eat, son. Yeah. Oh. So we're gonna tuck. Have fun eating it. We're gonna we're gonna tuck in and see how we get on. So we got the breakfast, but we're missing several things. Not through error of princess, more through error of Grand Duke George's ordering system. Yeah, seems to be quite heavy on yogurt. Lacking anything else but yogurt, really. Lacking anything for me yeah. except a banana. So we're gonna go. Sweet day in shot dropped him before. Have a sweet day in shot dropped him before. <laughs> have butter and we have honey, honey. We have no milk. So we're obviously very not very good at this breakfast thingy. So regardless, <laughs> regardless of getting breakfast from the buffet or thing, well, we're not very good at breakfast. But we're gonna try and improve on that. So we're gonna go to the buffet now and bring back the bits we forgot, or Granddad George forgot, should we say? So here we go. So we've got some additional bits from the buffet. And it would appear, it's all right, it's quite busy down there, Westcott, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So maybe it is a lot nicer to have this beautiful view. Well, it's dining al fresco. Luckily there's no, oh, big ship here. Yeah, so you just you need to be better at the menu picking than we are. But overall, very, very nice. So there's the breakfast over and done with. Delicious. Delicious, very enjoyable. Boom, he's back in the room. Um, what would I say? I'd say next time, if we do it again, like tomorrow morning maybe, we're just gonna get some tea, some coffee, some juice, and like a croissant or something, or the, the thing they call it, and that'd be fine. So basically you can wake up, sit out here, you know you get a tea coffee in the room anyway, but nice, nice, fresh. And then just enjoy the morning and work out what you're going to do. Talking what we're going to do, what are we going to do? I don't know. So we'll have a quick chat and then we'll find out. To the world's most noisiest shoes competition 2024. And all the way from Blackpool, England, we have Scott Patch. I think I would. I think you would as well. So, what did we decide? We decided to go play golf. We were play golf for a bit. There's a movie on it, half free. Ford versus Ferrari, it's nice to watch on the big screen. Some cocktails and food. Between now and then, I also need to get off and tell you about Wi-Fi and what the crack is. And also I need to do some uni work as well. So, lots to do today, but first of all, you can see- in charge. So yeah, it's got us in charge today. So first of all, we need to see who's best at golf. Who's gonna win the golf? And we've, what is it? We've still got Grand Touch. So, golf time. We've lost Grand Touch George. Oh yeah, of course. So we decided to have a quick intervention. And maybe stop off for an ice cream. What do you reckon? You're in charge, man. You're in charge. You're in charge. Oh, wait. He should be in charge. You don't want an ice cream? No. You want an ice cream? Yeah, I might have an ice cream. Huh? I might have an ice cream. Same. Same. I'll have an ice cream. Issues. I'll just show you the pool before we do have an ice cream. So some people decided not to go into Bilbao today. We're going to just saying to some people that decided not to go into Bilbao today. Huh? Some people decided not to go into Bilbao today for various reasons. And they're watching TV. Look how quiet and peaceful it is. All those pesky kids. I'm not quite sure what film it is. But yeah, look how nice and peaceful. Peaceful and quiet. That's what it's like. When I come with no kids, when it was just cruising my father, that's what it's like. Nice and relaxing, cocktail, perfect. Right. Anyway, no fantasizing about happy old days. Southern ice cream and go and play golf. 
Uh, the beloved ice cream. Where's said you wasn't having an ice cream. I'm pretty much sure you just told all the viewers you wasn't having an ice cream. But then I saw yours and I was tempted. I don't know if I record you saying it or not. So we're going to make our way up to the Gulf now. Now we're armed with dangerous. With our ice creams. <laughs> So people do often ask, why don't we always get off? And this is why, I'll show you, look. We've got a beautiful sun. We've got the snacks, we've got the drinks, we've got the TVs. We've got cocktails, we've got music, we've got chairs, we've got hot tub swim pools. Everything. It's so peaceful, you know, when everybody's off. So as spoken before, we're not going to go on the coach to build our but we have all agreed, we're gonna get off just where that little ramp is there. And then we'll see if you can get Wi-Fi in that building so everybody knows in case you don't have a package. And then we're gonna just simply come down here and walk along this little path here until we get to the lighthouse. Yeah, the lighthouse. Then take some pictures and come back. So we'll tell you what kind of pictures you're gonna get. You've got a nice picture of the ship. I'm going to tell you what's inside this big building. Can you get Wi-Fi? What's the accessibility options? And there we go. So we decided not to go, various reasons. They, they kind of like, a bit, bit of scaremongering on behalf of the cruise line. There's a big football event. I know what they're doing. They don't want people getting trapped and involved in it. And I get that. So that's one thing to bear about. The trip is normally, they say 25, 35. Last time we was here, it was like 45, 55 depending on traffic. Uh, they reckon there's going to be a, a million people entering for the football, so that's obviously going to add on to things. But whilst the weather's lovely, it's going to be great. So the plan of action so far, go and play a bit of golf, come down, check out what's inside this building, check if you've got Wi-Fi, check if there's shops, all the other stuff you need to know, walk along here, have a look at the lighthouse, take some nice pictures, come back, have some lunch, and we're going to play some games in the Crown Grill, and then Probably just chill out in the room for a bit. I need to get some work done. Because by that time the sun should be whipping round onto our lovely balcony. We'll be able to enjoy ourselves on it. But before all this wonderful information we're gonna feed you with, let's go play some golf. I have just clocked cruise fans by the way. <laughs> if you don't want to go into Bill Bower and you want to stay where you are, what are your announcements? So, this thing I want us to walk along. Ooh. We'll get the hang of this control one day. If if we go all if we go all, all the way along here, uh, hang on, let me restart the <laughs> let me restart the camera. So it's working now. So this road little path from the lighthouse we just mentioned from the terminal building, port building. If you do go doesn't like doing that mover does it if you do go all the way down there and just carry on thank you you get yourselves to this little beach look at that lovely beach and there's a harbour there and this is all in walking distance so if you don't want to look at the lighthouse or you want to look at the lighthouse you go all the way down there and go the opposite way as well you've got this lovely little beach and the weather's lovely today and there's some shops and you see all the little ships and this is all just in walkable distance. Fantastic. Oh, I wish I knew this before. Yeah, so if you've got some kids or you don't want to walk too far, but you do want to get off, you've got the lighthouse, this would be interesting. And there's a little beach, and I'm sure there's some shops and other stuff around there. All walking distance, still see the ship, feel safe, don't have to worry about. A lot of people are scared to go off and get to look, they miss the ship, you see. That's just in walking distance. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so we decided. The, the minimum, where do I start then? Uh, right, we'll all start at the same place. So we're where this club is. Well, Scott, put your bag down. So there's no real set courses on this place. So you have to kind of like make up your own rules. If you watch any of my videos, you still have lots of fun. You just make up the thing. You can set up your courses. So this is going to be straight pot in. <laughs> One. No, just to be like a practice. Think you have a practice then, go then. Yeah, I do be like that. Okay, go then. 
That's not practice, it's practice you're about to start. So, hello everybody, welcome to the PJ Tour here. Uh, first up, Scott. Jesus. Right, one shot. If you watched the vlog before, you'll realise golf is not Scott's forte. <coughs> Go on then. Two. <laughs> right. Three. Four. Four, five, five, six. Well done. Nine. George is up there. Six to beat. One. Doing well. Doing very well. Gets him with a two. Well done. I'm up. <laughs> right, my go now. Two to beat. I've got the yellow ball. Have the yellow ball. Oh. Drop my balls. Drop my balls, there we go. There we go. We're on the yellow ball today. One handed, watch this. Ready? Oh. Two for me. Two for me. Two, two. Two, two. So Scott's up first. So you start. Oh, <laughs> there. Yeah, and then we're going to go for that hole. We put my cue down. What do you call them? Jolf stick. <laughs> hey, just hit it too hard. But yeah, that's the idea, obviously. It's, it's mainly just putting and practicing, but if you set up your own kind of like courses, you have lots of fun. Hey. He's gone too far as well. And you can do them across the thing. So Scott's down two. Scott's got. It's actually three or four. Five. Oh, there we go. That's all. Six. Hey. Well done. Six. And go to George. No, it's last time. Go for a pot on yours. Ooh. And there we go. What's the next one? Is it that one? Whichever one you want. You want. So I don't think the viewers can take any more excitement than this. But that's the golf course. Like I say, you can make up your own little setups and you'll have a right good time. Yeah, yeah so we're going for that one next. Yeah. From there. You can also do other things up here. So, right. On with the rest of the day. So, Brenda George was the victor there. Champion golfer. In the golf tournament. I would say, though, Having been on the sky for the last few years, the golfing thing's looking a bit like an in. I need a bit of TLC. Remember the first year, all the balls melted because the water used to get trapped in there. But luckily, someone drew some holes in it. So that stopped the balls from melting. But yeah, I think overall, I think it just needs a little bit of a little bit of love, a little bit of green teas, what it was called. So. Next, what's next on today's itinerary? So, uh, lunchtime approaches, people are starting to get back on board. Maybe there's just another walk. Like I said, I'll get off and have a look. 
but if you don't go too far, they look really nice. I was quite impressed by just the lighthouse. But if you get down to that beach area, but that's lovely for small people and big peoples alike. So, what's the plan? I think I need to go and do that. Don't I? I keep on getting tempted with hot tubs and cocktails and food and everything else that's amazing about being on board the Sky Princess. But no, I will get off and show you what there is in that cruise terminal building and if you can get Wi-Fi and what the walk is like. So, that's the next step. Don't be tempted by this hot tub around here. I can see the hot tub, I can see the towel station. And where my swimming trunks. Might be nice to go in there for a bit because I do have to go and get changed it. No, stay strong, stay strong. It's so nice. The sun's out, I'll just be like in paradise. Oh, there's a guy coming around. I could order a cocktail and sit in the hot, no, no. Strong, stay strong, stay strong. Like being in an AA meeting. Right, let's do that. He's coming closer. The drinks are just there. The towels are just there. They're getting out of the hot tub. It would be my own private hot tub on a cruise ship in the sunshine in Spain. No, stay strong, stay strong, 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 strong. Look, we'll have one dip and then I'm gonna get on it, okay? Just one dip. What? One dip, two cocktails, then we're on it, okay? Right, so we've been in the hot tub with Naughty Boys, had a cocktail. Naughty boys as well, but now we're ready to get off and show you what's just off the boat. Chip, we'll get the hang of it. So we've had several announcements saying, don't go to Bilboa. So we definitely won't be going to Bilboa. We're gonna show you if you can get Wi-Fi off the port and we can show you everything else. We can't show you how to get off though. <laughs> Is this? Okay, so it's... we kind of can't go. Yeah, maybe it's the deck below. Oh, the deck below. Yeah, could be. Oh, yeah, I don't know. What's this answer? And we deck six. Well, we're on now, five. Yeah. Mm. See, this is the problem. That could look like that way, but it means up, doesn't it? Yeah. I had this problem in MSC and I kept on going around in circles. Press the button. We're in. I don't know, so we're off. No problems whatsoever. He's going to judge. Oh, uh, well, nearly off. We're on this gangway. It seems to take you up somewhere. Ooh, where does it take us? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, it takes you up to that walkway. Oh. Okay, so what? What's um, what we need to find out? Huh? If there's somewhere, if there's a shop or anything, if there's Wi-Fi. There's the first two tasks: shops and Wi-Fi. We get a nice look at the nice look at the ship. So we've had these cabins before, above uh, the pizza place, Alberto, what's it called? Alfredo. Alfredo. And they're slightly bigger. If you get the right balconies, they're slightly bigger. And now they come under the obstructed, which is the same as these. But as you can see, they're not really obstructed whatsoever. So they're really good. Once again, though, you have to get early to get those booked in. We've had stuff at the back, which come under obstructed. Once again, it's not obstructed. It's only really these ones here and the ones in front, which are kind of obstructed, I guess. The cheaper, that's the, that's the main thing. But yeah, so this is the way out. So let's see if we've got free Wi-Fi. If you need to make connections with loved ones at home or work or whatever else. So it's very sparse, it's like it's closed. <laughs> Huh? So it feels like it's closed, but it's not closed, of course. Is it closed? No, it smells nice. It smells like apples. It's not apples. It smells like apples. So there's a desk here. There's a desk here. Let's uh, get the, the phone out. And see if we can get Wi-Fi. Just clear everything. So we're going to go to Wi-Fi. Searching Build Bower Port. Build Bower Port. Do a speed test. 
and yeah, we can confirm, oh my god, we can confirm there's free Wi-Fi and extremely fast free Wi-Fi. The ship? I've done the speed test on the ship. Uh, not using my phone, I did one with Grand George's last time, oh. it was really fast as well, but that's crazy good. There you go, so there's free Wi-Fi in the port, so that's the first question and answered straight away. So if you've got no internet and you come here, regardless of which vessel you're on, you can get some free Wi-Fi. Is there anywhere to sit? Not many places, but we'll have a look downstairs and see what there is downstairs. There's a couple of places. There we go. So we'll have a look and see what's downstairs. And off we go. And with the art of super editing, here we are at the bottom of the escalator. So there is some big chairs which you can spend some time and check your Wi-Fi. Some toilet facilities as well. That's always handy. Uh, there's an information desk. Let's see what's at the information desk. It's very nice, very modern, very big, very clean. Nice photo opportunity there. Welcome to Bilbao. And then you've got some local guides. This is the local city we're talking about. Getox, is that how you pronounce it? So we're there. Move this mouse, mouse. It's a cool camera. We're there, so this is the lighthouse we're gonna to walk to. But if you wanted to, you come off the, the ship and go to this beach area here. You've also got this port area with the shops. And then the actual coach, I believe, takes you further around to the center. But today we're just gonna be looking at this cruise dock area and see what there is literally on your doorstep. These maps are free. Uh, you've got other maps as well. A detailed town map and they're just repeated and I'm guessing, yeah, that's that map there. So they're just all free of charge. Easy to pick up, easy to use, not a problem. So, that's useful. There we go. Trips. So if you did want to pay for the trip, uh, I think that said tours and transfer by taxi. So, Bill Bowers centers 37 euros. You're getting that for free. So that's a, it's a fair enough deal, that, isn't it? But there you go. But these are all available from that little desk. So you'll get that transfer free if you're with the princess. And that's equivalent of 37 euros each. Yeah, in the airport, just in case you was going to disembark here, which you can't do on this particular thing, is 43 euros, just in case you was and you could. Oh, who's this gentleman? Hello. Sometimes you come across street beggars. Yeah, vagrant people. Yeah. Hey. Hello. You can. Yes, so if you go left, you go to the coaches for the short excursions or the shuttle to town. Well, we're going to take a right. And this sea wall, we think there's a gap of this fence. And you can sneak through and uh, you can make your way to the beach. Or this little lighthouse at the end, which is our plan. And we'll get some nice pictures of the ship. So let's walk up here just a bit. And we'll see what's there. Like all this fresh air? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. So let's carry on. There is a gap in the wall. Yes, that's just what I Oh All in all, there's just another gap in the wall. And there's a big coach coming our way as well. Yay, we're gonna yeah. famous. Trush by a coach. So we found a oh there you go, look. So if you was gonna to go to the beach, which was this way, there's a hole, a hole, the staircase up there. But we're gonna to go to the lighthouse, try and get a picture. The staircase is, staircase is down way. there, yeah. What even? Why'd I flip the camera? How? Oh, how do I flip the camera? You press oh, the thing. How do you even find a camera like that? This, yeah, you find this wonderful camera available on johnnypedge.com or Amazon, should I say. So let's walk towards the lighthouse. So there she is, the Sky Princess in all her beauty. So we've reached the end of the pier now nearly. So you've got two options. 
You could go for a low photo. Or you could go up a, a, an extra level around the lighthouse and have a look. But if you do like taking pictures of ships, this is the place to come to. Especially today, these conditions are perfect. Oh, I could probably read what that says. What, the Spanish thing? Yeah, uh, don't die in the water. Don't die in the water. Oh, right, so you can go... Down. Yeah, if you want to be risky, we would not be doing that. No, there's a gap here, look. Yeah, we can go real down. Yeah, so don't be that idiot. Go down into the water. Don't be that idiot and do that. But this is this is actually a massive top tip here. If you're coming with kids, bigger than him, smaller than him, don't let them run ahead. Because obviously it's very dangerous. So Scott's going to come back up here. We're going to look up the lighthouse. And then we'll take some pictures. But yeah, so if you are, this is really a, mass, a massive top tip, right? So if you think... If you're thinking, I will come and see this, don't let your kids run ahead because they may accidentally go down there. So just be really cautious of that, yes? Don't drown. Yes, well. When you're walking, don't mess around around it. Yeah, just be really careful. So we're gonna go up there and we're gonna take some pictures and see what it's like. So once again, if you do come around here, just be careful. Get a good spot for your picture here. But just be careful for the obvious reasons. And here we are with the lighthouse. I've heard Grandy George make a weird noise. So, let's go and check on him. I'm guessing they're probably doing something they shouldn't be doing. Hello. How can you make a noise sitting down? Huh? He made a noise just sitting down. Yeah, there's, there's a bloke jumping over. There's a bloke jumping over. JCP. So this is beautiful, isn't it? And looking and my calculations. So this is where our cabin is at the front here. So luckily by this afternoon, we should be bang on for a bit of sunshine. So we're just gonna walk around a bit more and we'll see what else with this. Well, <laughs> sorry about this guys. This is just admiring the local artwork. It's the F-U-C-K TV crew. I'm not sure where that. Well, they record, but uh, there you go. <laughs> Fantastic. It's nice watching all the ships come in and out. Boop, boop. There's a rescue ship. It's a nice port, and then it was also here is planes. So if you into, well, there we go. This is harder, harder to track than first anticipated. You can track a train, blade, what are they called? I break my neck here. Eh? Off it goes. So that's it. So we're going to head back to the ship now. I'm getting better at calling it on. Uh, so that's that beach. So all you got to do is walk on the same path that's come from the lighthouse. As he pans around very cinematically, all the way round. Do 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 do. Only something. So very cinematic now. Take things serious in this channel. So you just follow this path all the way down there, and then you get to the beach. Would I like to go and do that? I'd love to go and do that. We're we going to do that? No. Unfortunately, no. You know, we don't. We don't need that much face, do we? So if you're new to the channel, the idea is, we, well in the old days, we used to do quite a bit. And now we started cruising with my son. Um, and he likes to do things, he's got autism, so he likes to do things in like certain things. And Grandad George can't walk very far. So we never used to do very much. The first channels, the first of the new series of us three, we was just basically, why is that plane being really noisy? We were just on the ship, which is fine. Uh, and things were a bit different back then because the COVID just finished and things were changing. But things are getting better now and you can start doing more stuff. So we changed it or I changed it around. So at least we get off and I'll tell you if there's anything to do locally, like today and yesterday. And also if you can get Wi-Fi on the terminal. Basic stuff, but in essence, essential stuff. And as I tell people who watch the channel, if you watch it and you think, that was really crap. 
perfect. I'm not bothered about that. That means you don't make that mistake when you come on this same trip and the travel agents told you this and you're thinking, I'm not gonna book an excursion. I'm just gonna do my own thing. So sometimes it's good to watch these videos. If the crap, that's great. Because then you think, ah, I'm gonna plan ahead and do something else. If you think it's great, then it's great. So everything's a winner winner for me. As long as you people are learning something about the local ports or the ships, that's perfect. That's all I want basic stuff so people have a great time but i'm very proud of those two because like i say previously we never got off and did anything so this is massive steps if you followed us for the last few years these are massive steps to things if you're thinking this is crap my god you want to watch the older stuff it gets even worse but yeah so basically you can't work the osmo pocket there we go look at this one technology so off the ship come up here there's a hole hit there and then there's a little staircase here. That way, come on, Mr. Gimbal. That way, you've got, I was gonna say fire station, what they call them, <laughs> lighthouse. And then if you go that way, you've got the beach. What would I have picked out of everything to do today? Given this weather, the beach would have been lovely. If I could have got the bit, those two boys down the beach, it'd been fantastic. But I'll tell you what, we've had fun today, it's been good. So the people are starting to get back, there's a big, they do a bit of scaremongering across here. There's, I know there's some kind of event going on, but what basically they don't want people disappearing and not coming back. Then they've got to make this whole decision. Do I delay the boat? Do I just abandon them? By the way, they just abandoned you. <laughs> it wasn't that much hard of a decision. They would just abandon you. I'm pretty sure they don't like doing that. So they've advised everybody to try and get back as soon as possible. So there we go. I know I say so a lot. I was just talking to Scott. I said... I really seem to say so far too much. So I'm going to stop say saying that after I've done my sewing class. So what's next? Uh, we're going to go back on board and we're going to have some drinks. This is very repetitive, I know, but I'll tell you why. It's really good. The food on here is amazing. The entertainment is amazing. The facilities is amazing. Everything so good. I wasn't into Princess Cruises beforehand and then I started doing a couple. And if you watch the vlogs, it's kind of like, I really, really like it. We have done two MSC recently. We've got a P&O coming up. I do want to try other brands, but I've got a slight problem. Unless it's really affordable, because I'm like a self-funded travel vlogger, i.e. I have to pay to do this stuff, I can only do stuff I can afford. So I have to make sure that I'm probably, if it's like a bit of money, I have to make sure that it's gonna have like a good time. If it's just cheap and fun, I can afford to do it. But uh, generally, well, not generally, it all comes out of my pocket in Grandad George's pocket. So there we go. But I'm blabbering on. I'm having such a great time this holiday. I know I start off, the on the first sessions really grumpy and i think it's because of maybe the travel i heard the bicycle over um maybe the travel definitely the travel it's a long-winded thing sometimes this traveling but overall we're having a fantastic time as always with the boys and we're gonna get back on board now if there's anything important i'll give you a shout but at least you've got some wi-fi there and you've got something local you can do as well so win-win excellent thank you so we're just making our way from the Crown Grill and we normally, as you've seen the videos before, play Uno, not Uno, what's it called? Monopoly there, but the games aren't there for some reason. So this is a bit of a shame. That's what I said though, why not put the games in, um, what's it called, with that new arcade? Instead of having this crappy arcade, a nice like, like, like game room would have been fantastic. Never mind, so we're going to play Uno instead in here. And then at three o'clock, there's another thing called Word Tennis. And I have no idea what Word Tennis is, but we're about to find out. And we've lost Grandad George as well. Yay. As a bonus. So hopefully we'll find him as well. So Tea cards. we're about to play an Uno flip because there's no Monopoly. And we've got some cocktails now, dirty bananas and uh, fizzling water. And Scott's gone for the classic. Elton Ridge, some of the finest ridge water out there, once we're. And he's about to beat us at, is it called? Uno. And then we've got tennis game coming up as well, which I don't know idea what that is, but stay tuned, folks, as the games continue. So, unfortunately, Grand George won that. Well done, Grand George. So, next up, we've got Word Tennis, which is a new one to us. So, basically, do you know how to play the game Word Tennis? There's a category. 
and then it says like countries, then you go like Spain, France, Germany, Belgium, etc. You just you just two one four two one four. You just go verses like that, and then the person who can't get the correct answer loses a point. Loses a point. So next up, word up. tennis. We've got some dirty bananas, which I think I prefer the non-alcoholic version of that, really. It's got alcohol in it. Yeah, it's got alcohol in it. I wonder it's dirty. <laughs> so that's coming up, word tennis. So it's me and Scott, and Greta George is playing a randy person. Repeat a word the other person's already said, then that makes the game stop, come to an end, and so we'll just keep on going until we have a winner at the end. So there's different categories, so depending on what, what time we've got, we'll get around everybody. We might do it a couple of times each. Right, so if I can just invite our okay. first two people, so Johnny and Scott. Hey! Are the first contestants. So, so Grandi George is up here now. It's harder than it looks. Yeah. Calm down. Especially when we have brains <laughs> Excellent. Right. Do you know each other? No. No. Never met each other. Don't forget before. to take pity on old people. <laughs> <laughs> no mercy. <laughs> okay. Right. So we're going to start with Catherine first. You're going to go first, and then I say you're going to go head to head, and whoever stumps will be out. Oh, so best of three, and your category is. Starting with Catherine, is male Hollywood actors. Oh, he's not, not very good at this. Okay. Go. Gene Kelly. Gene Kelly, yes. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> Come on. George Baker. Who? George Baker. Is he an actor? Yeah. Isn't George Baker an actor? Yes. Never even heard of him. You can't just make names up. <laughs> Three two films in England. Two, one. John Wayne. John Wayne, just in time. Catherine. Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire, yes. Male. There's millions of them. Tom Holland. Robert Mitchum. Who? Robert Mitchum. Is he? Yes, okay. The crowd is saying yes. You know that one, George. Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks, yes. Tom Holland. Dean Martin. He's a singer, isn't he? Is it? Tom. Okay, we'll give you that then. <laughs> Tom Middleston. Yes, he's an actor. Tom Middleston. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Come on. Tom Holland. Three, two, Tom Holland. Boris Karloff. <laughs> one. Go on then, you can have that one. Who's um, your favourite? Oh, Tom Edgerton. That's okay. That's Come on. Come on, George. Tom. Tom Sid Holland. Sydney Poitier. Yes. Oh, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds, yes. He's English. It's not. As long as he's been in a Hollywood show. Oh, Jerry right. Lewis. Who? Jerry Lewis. Yeah, okay, you can have the one, yes. He's in the wrong era, isn't he? You've got to be old like me to remember these people. Randy Cooper. Who? Randy Cooper, yes. All oh, right, and Gary Cooper. <laughs> Gary Oldman. <laughs> yes, keep going. Um, Tom Holland. Who? Tom Holland. Who's he? Spider Man. Tom Holland? Yeah. There we go. Tom Holland. Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe, yes. Daniel Radcliffe. Come on. Um, four, three. Your favourite. Two. The King. Peter one. Cushing. Who? Peter Cushing. Yeah, he'll do. Peter Sellers? Yeah. He'll do. Yeah. No, it's English. It can be English. He can be English as long as he's been in a Hollywood film. Actor. No, he's, he's not been in a Hollywood film. He Come makes on. A Pinewood Studio. Come on. Pick that part. Four, three, two, one. I'll give it to the lady. George, time's up. Right. Catherine, well done. One point to you. So, where are you from, Emily? I'm from Manchester. Manchester, where are you from, Jackie? Scotland. Scotland. So it's England versus Scotland for this round. Right, Emily, you can go first and then we're taking in turns. This could be an interesting category because especially with the way the world is today. Right, are we ready for your first category? It is boys' names. Well, it's, it's going forever, this group. Right, Emily, you can start. Jack, John, James, Andrew. 
Andy. Stephen. Steve. <laughs> Mark. Let's do this. <laughs> Solomon. Trevor. Harry. Wayne. Jacob. Alistair. Alex. <laughs> Alexander. <laughs> Grace. Bert. Harrison. Barry. Bert. Bert. <laughs> that was oh. good, Bert. Thomas. Brian. Tommy. Claude. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Danny. Daniel. <laughs> Dan. <laughs> Edward. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> Teddy. Bob. Robert. <laughs> Rob. <laughs> Stuart. Stu. Stu. Paul. Stu. Three, two, one. No. Time is up. Time is up. Oh, that was a good head to head there, but Jack. So I came second on the game when I won a. What do you call them? Ball stopper. And now I'm about to win the quiz. This is the voice of Kimber Simpson. Win the quiz. We got some more cocktails. Move on to our next question. And what's this what one? What country has the most islands? What country has the most islands? So if you know the answer, write it in the comments below. I'm going for. Uh, I, can't, I, I can't spell it. I'm going for the Philippines. That's what I'm going for. Philippines. 21,000 named islands with an estimated 267,570 in total. I don't know whether they cast like a piece of, piece of land that you can actually stand on an island. So it wasn't the Philippines. It was Sweden. <laughs> Who got that correct? 1,831 named islands. So... I don't know who's, who's job it was so, to them all, but... let's get back on. I'm not doing very well at this. In Australia, but we're having fun. So the captain's just told us there's uh, going to be a parade of ships due to the local football team beating... What'd they say? Mallorca? <laughs> Mallorca, FC or some stuff like... Where's he gone? Where's he going? <laughs> Oh, what's the problem? He's going to talk. Is he going to talk? So, Grandad George, the guy who can't walk, likes to walk the long way everywhere. But yeah, so there's like some kind of parade going on by the river. So, we're going to like go to our stateroom and <laughs> see what we can see. Well, hopefully, we'll see lots of nice ships. Hopefully, the sun should be on our side as well by this time. And we can just enjoy the rest of our relaxing day. It's been uh, it's been really good so far. We're just trying to work out where Grandad George is going now. Where are you going, Grandad George? Oh, yeah. Going the long way, yeah. I thought you can't. You said, you said you can't That's walk fun. anywhere. You walk like the longest way everywhere. <laughs> I know. So. <laughs> I'm sure, this is a long way. Yeah. And don't go to deck ten. Yes. What deck you on? 15. Tech 15, correct. All right, let's go back to the cabin. Did I go? Yeah. Where did the, where did the room service man go? More importantly. <sighs> let's move the bed again. <sighs> this would be the downside of the old three people in one cabin thing. Let's see if we can see anything interesting. It's nice and warm. Oh, this person with a boat. And there we go. You never actually specified when the celebrations would stop, but at least the sun's over our cabin now. Fantastic. There we go. Beautiful. So I can hear something, I just can't see anything. Uh, it's over there in that harbour over there. Oops. We'll get the hang of this one day. Go on, Captain, play our horn. Don't know if you can hear this. 
They're playing the Hortons. <clears throat> we need to the old uh, love boat theme. God, that sun's hot on my head. It's turned out to be a beautiful day though. Great day for celebrations. Oh my God. I'm playing the horn, but it's so echoey. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's clever though, isn't it? Right, so we've worked out a plan is we've done a bit of sunbathing. We didn't get any food. We're just gonna go to the buffet and have some buffet food. So bar, well I had a breakfast this morning. I'm not eating anything, have I? We had an ice cream, I can't remember. But it's been a lovely day today. And like I say, you haven't got to get off too far if you don't want to get off too far. And there's lots of, you know, the beach. I've heard very good reviews. We're speaking to me about the beach. Very good reviews. Easy to get to. So if you've got weather like this, it's an ideal thing to do here. So highly recommended. Right, time for some awesome food. I'm actually hungry for once. This is the problem. Sometimes you can eat far, far too much on the cruise ship. And you just kind of like, you don't ruin it, but you're just not looking super forward to your next meal. Where I actually today, I am. So let's go. So we've had dinner, that was very nice. And now we're gonna do the same old usual princess live. I know it's boring, we quite enjoy it. We, we always enjoy it, that's why we do it. So hopefully we've got a chair. Scott's very good at saving chairs, by the way. This is one true gift in life. So hopefully. Yep, there he is, we're going to George. Perfect. See, it's all coming together like a master plan. So we've done the quiz, and now we're getting ready for Liars Club. That's tonight's entertainment. It's very, very good to watch. We should do better than that. How are you doing tonight? Woo! There we go. All right, welcome to Liars Club game show where nobody can be trusted, apart from me. You can trust me. I'm the only one that can be trusted. So let me explain how this game show works. We have three lovely panelists. Give them a wave, everybody. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm going to be giving them a word and they're going to tell you their definition of that word and you have to try and work out who you think is telling the truth. Okay, so in every round there will only be one truth teller. So let's get started and find out from each of our panellists why we should believe them. So Alex, hello. Hi Lucy. Why should everybody believe you this evening? I believe you all should believe because I'm American and just like my politicians, I tell the truth all the time. <laughs> Woo! No comment. Okay, Georgia, why should we believe you this evening? Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Um, you should believe me this evening because look to my right, look to my left. Gorgeous, young, attractive men. Stop it. Oh, stop. Both single. I rest my case. <laughs> and uh, Callum, you gorgeous single man, uh, why, did you, why should we believe you? So I'm Welsh and everyone knows that Welsh people are very trustworthy. You know, we're happy, we say hello to everyone, so that's why you should trust me. Interesting. Yay! We've got Welsh in the house. <laughs> okay, so are you ready for your first word, panellists? All right, here we go. Uh, so your first word this evening is horsehole. 
Horse hog. H O W S E W H. I can't read. H O L E. Horse hog. Callum, would you like to go first? Yes. Okay. Here we go. So, hello everyone. How are you? Very so, well. So, I was travelling a few years ago. Um, I was in Peru. I was um, just about to climb uh, Machu Picchu to go up to Machu Picchu, and I was staying um, in a hostel. And it, this hostel had just happened to be on a on a ranch, and they um, bred horses as they do on a ranch. And um, I was there with a group of, with a group of um, people that, we used to, that was kind of the, the, up to Machu Picchu with me. And um, we was having a couple few drinks, you know, and what else, so, you know, we have a few drinks. And uh, we was playing Truth or Day, and we was going around in this big circle, there's about 20 of us playing Truth or Day, and it come to me. And one of the guys from Canada, he was like, Callum, I want you to go and do a lap of the of the ring and chase a horse. I was like, easy. So I jumped out the window, jumped over the fence, and got in the ring. And there was no horses in the ring. It was donkeys. So I was like, easy, even better. So I was started to run, so I ran, started running around, and I was chasing the donkeys. I was like, come on, donkey! But all of a sudden, the donkeys turned, and they started to chase me. I was like, oh! So I was running back and forth, I was running around the circle and they was a lot faster than me, even though they was only donkeys, it was a lot faster than me. So the first thing I saw was a horse hole and I jumped into it. So what a horse hole was, I didn't realise until the time I was there, was uh, what they hold horses into to inseminate them. And uh, so I jumped in the hole and didn't realise where it was. And yeah, so a horse hole is uh, an area that they keep horses to inseminate them. Thank you. And now you're pregnant with a horse? Like, I don't yeah. really know what... <laughs> yes. Thank you, Callum. Okay, we're going to go to Georgia next. Georgia, what is a horse hole? I knew that was a lie as soon as she said hostel. A man in a waistcoat never stays in a hostel. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Georgia. Now, I have worked on ships for a while, and on this contract, I was lucky enough to meet Callum. Lovely Callum. Now, you see, before Callum was part of the entertainment team, he actually worked up on deck with the captain himself. And on his first day, he walked in, stripes and all, looking great, ready to work, and captain said, Callum, your first task is clean horse hole. Oh. Clean the horse hole. Callum said, OK. Yes, yes, Captain Lackanen, I will do that right away. So Callum went to the bathroom, he scrubbed and he polished, and he cleaned and he whacked the horse hole as best as he could. He came out, he presented it to the captain, and the captain looked terrified, unnerved. You see, a horse hole is actually a hole in the hull of a ship where ropes are passed through. But unfortunately, Callum didn't get that memo. And he showed captain a different kind of horse hole. Uh, so Captain picked up the phone and said, Hi Lucy, Cruise Director Lucy. Uh, Don't involve me in this. I, I think I've got someone this. very entertaining <laughs> for you. Doesn't speak the best English and gets confused a few times, but he'll be great on your crew staff team. And that is how we ended up with the lovely Callum, because, of course, the heart hole is a whole part of the ship where the ropes are passed through. It's just a hole in the ship. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Georgia. You believe that, you believe it. Yeah, okay. Moving on, uh, Alex, hello. Hi. Welcome. Please tell us your definition of horsehole. <laughs> Sorry, my horsehole is kind of tight right now. Excuse me. <laughs> so, you guys, what is a horsehole? Well, let me tell you. Do we know how I got this job? Of course, no, because I never told you. So how I got this job is I won the Voice of the Ocean. I was on a princess cruise ship on the Caribbean last June, and the entertainment director noticed me, and when I won, I got this job. Now, let me tell you, I am a singer and performer in California, so I am trained in vocal techniques and vocal anatomy. So my household was really tight that day. <laughs> I was really nervous. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry, I'm speaking. Thank you. <laughs> My household, like I was saying, it was really tight that day, so I stayed in the shower for two hours. I was steaming it, getting it wet, and it was just, it was hard to open up. So I was really nervous, and then it was time for the voice of the ocean. Everyone's practicing. I'm backstage, like, I'm kind of nervous, like, I gotta sing. 
So I go backstage where no one could see me and I open up my house hole up there and I was stretching it out and it was just amazing. And then when I finally got the scene, it happened. What is a house hole, you may ask? It's a part of the larynx. Right here in your throat, it's a tiny little hole. And what you do, you have to stand up straight, arch your back a bit, and then when you gasp, it opens up the larynx and the little hole right there so you're able to project slash belt easily. So a hoss hole is a tiny little hole in your larynx. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Woo! Alex. Okay, so you've heard from all of our three panelists now, so now it's over to you to decide who you think is telling the truth. You have your slips of paper. I want you to come down and give your slip of paper to the person that you think is telling the truth. Here we go. Did you conduct me? Probably her. Yeah, then. Probably her. Uh, love... It's quite feasible. I love the equality on this channel. So what do you reckon, viewers at home? Um, I, I don't... A horse hole? Does that make sense, doesn't it? So guys, who do you reckon it is? Oh, yeah, thank you, Grand Okay, panelists, start counting your votes, please. Here we go. For some people, it's going to say longer than others. <laughs> okay, how are you doing? No, you can't do that. No, that's yours. Pity votes, pity votes. Okay, uh, Callum, it won't take long. How many votes did you get? Two. Two. Oh dear. Were they in Welsh? Dying. Dying. Were they from the Welsh people? Did the Welsh people vote for Callum? No! Oh, people turn me back on you. Okay, Georgia, how many votes did you get? I got 25. 25 for Georgia Ooh. and Alex. I got 10. Got Yay. 10. Okay, so now as you can stand up, everybody, please stand up. We're going to now reveal who the truth teller really is. So who are we going for, guys? I'm going to go for horse hole, number B. Oh. It's me! Yeah. Well done, Georgia. Okay, you're not owls, it's one of the... Ooh, that's so much better. Okay, now imagine that I am the mythical one-eyed dwarf, all right? And the forest isn't... Keep your hands on, you're still the forest. Yeah, the forest hasn't gone anywhere. Piggy, are you okay? I'm quiet. Good little piggy. So I'm the one-eyed dwarf. Actually, there can be multiple, come on. Let's all be one-eyed mythical dwarves together. And you, Lucy, you made the story. No, I didn't. <laughs> She's a bit tall for Colin, get down. Cover one eye. Okay, forest! Forest! Okay, so now the, the forest is in danger! Get on the pig! Quick, oink, oink! Oink, oink, oink! Oh, I have expected to do this tonight. Piggy, I can't hear you. Forest, I can't hear you! Okay. Oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. HR are really going to hear about this tomorrow. I think you need to back up. Get off. Get off. Get off. You need to reverse. Alex. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, you see, Akira Pira is a mythical one eyed dwarf which rides a pig through the forest to protect it. Thank you. You. Okay, let's go through that. Um, let's recap. Let's recap. Alex, what is a cura pira? It's an Italian dance technique warm up. Italian? Uh, sure, fine. Good. Uh, Callum! <laughs> it's a rash you get from holding feathered boots. And Georgia? It's a mythical one eyed dwarf which rides a pig through the forest to protect it. Okay, so you've heard all the definitions, it's now your time to vote. Please come up and give your slip to the person you think is telling the truth. Here we go. Huh? <laughs> so I reckon it's Alex. 
Georgia, how many votes did you get? I've got eight and a half because I felt bad for Callum, so I gave him half of mine. Okay, that's nice, isn't it? That is nice. Uh, uh, Alex, you're still counting that? Okay, he's a... Are you done or...? Okay, really milking this now. Yeah, thank you. 28. 28. Yeah. 28 for Alex and Callum. Um, I've got a big two and a half. Two and a half. Oh, dearie me. Yeah. Okay, well, now it's time to find out who the truth teller was. So please, truth teller, reveal yourself. on a pig and protects the forest if you can believe such a thing so we need to find out who the winner was so who did you all vote for the most are we going to tally up the scores who's doing the math here i'm certain it's georgia all righty production shut it down quick Let's give a round of applause for production because they made a stand along there. Yay! He's gonna go get on me backstage now that I did it. Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. My name is Alex and I was our bar host. And everyone have an amazing night tonight. Good night, everyone. Alex. <laughs> so we've smashed the karaoke. We saw Alex smash karaoke. Fantastic singer. So it's gone 12. Here we are in the uh, piazza, as they call it around here. Let's get down here and have a look. Oh, everybody's still buying here in the piazza. Such a beautiful area to be in. The Sky Princess, if you like a party, ain't not around you one, but a good old one, it comes to the right place. If you can spot yourself, Put your name in the comments, you're a star! So it's all still going on board and we're going to get uh, ourselves some food from the International Cafe because we can't buy it like this. We can't buy it like these people. We're going to go to bed in a beauty sleep. So what can we get from the International Cafe this time of night? Oh, look at these treats we've got going on here. Cakes. Lots of different cakes. And we've got Oh, Beyond Meat vegan pie. I need one. I'm gonna to have to go in those. I love Beyond Meat. Is that for real? Can I get that? That's what I'm getting. You got other stuff as well. If you never tried Beyond Meat, it's really, really good. It's really, really, really good. And the classic cheeseburger pie as well. And loads of amazing choices here at the International Cafe. Oops. You're not gonna judge. You're pushing in. 
That man over there said he enjoys your YouTube videos. Well, there we go. I can't blame him. Yeah. So guys, it's been a great evening, having a really good time once again on the Sky Princess. It's been really, really good. I really, really enjoyed ourselves on this holiday. It's been fantastic so far. So tomorrow we are in a different port in France somewhere. Um, read this before, clearly not. The Verdon. I'm going to sneeze. Hold it in. Don't finish the video. So on behalf of myself and the staff, and the cruise crew, we're going to say goodnight and we'll see you in the morning. So thank you for watching the show so far and don't forget to tune in for tomorrow. So tomorrow's going to... Good night. I'm going to sneeze.